Stopping these attacks against Afghan and coalition forces is why identifying who's who is vital. And that's the point of gathering biometrics. Ten fingerprints, two irises, and one photograph. That is the standard. That, in doing that, that will effectively allow us to use it to protect the Afghan people, protect our soldiers, and separate the insurgents from the populace. And it's also probably our most effective means, non-lethal means, in the counter IED fight, which is the number one uh, uh, means that's uh, hurting coalition forces in the Afghan people here in Afghanistan. Getting biometrics data collected means training Afghan forces, but there is a need to increase the number of Afghans who collect this critical data. Sergeant Major Hammerly says battle space owners need to gather more enrollments, and it can be done without taking anything away from routine operations. Biometrics can be seamlessly integrated into any operation the commander does because it's not a drain on time and resources. With using the high device, uh, the handheld tactical device that we use uh, out, outside on uh, most tactical operations, in, in a period of less than four hours, we can train someone to be an effective uh, hide operator, collect quality collections to standard fingerprints that are uh, matchable against a, uh, a fingerprint database, irises that are able to be used to identify subjects on a WAP, just, and a good photo to be used for f future reference. Obviously, I think it's essential that battle space owners commit that time and resources and personnel to that type of mission. Without a doubt, I've seen each day in, across Afghanistan, we find insurgents, we detain insurgents, and prevent bad acts from happening to our forces through the use of biometrics. Uh, perhaps each battle space owner does not see that direct correlation every day, but across Afghanistan, as we build a database of fingerprints, of iris scans, we, we find insurgents, we separate them from the population, and then restrict their freedom of movement. U.S. military officials say biometrics enrollments can provide a great deal of bang for less buck than it may seem at first. Officials say biometrics is a force multiplier and a tool leading to the accomplishment of other missions, in addition to increasing security and law enforcement. Biometrics is important because it's the most effective tool a commander has out there today in the counterinsurgency fight in Afghanistan to protect his soldiers and to protect the Afghan people, coalition partners, and ANA forces. Biometrics data is added to a theater-wide watch list that is updated often and has already proven effective in thwarting attacks and preventing the wrong people from gaining access to military compounds and personnel. Almost every day we find someone who is trying to access an ISAF or coalition force base that should not be doing so because they're on our watch list. It's the easiest way to know with absolute certainty who is coming in your installation, who is going off your installation. It allows you to vet them against a known watch list of people who have previously been involved in anti-coalition force or, or criminal activity here in the theater of Afghanistan. So right there, and that's, a, uh, I believe, the commander's number one pride is force protection of his troops and his Afghan forces on his FOB. And this system is making the terrain difficult for insurgents. It's keeping them on the run with nowhere to hide. Taking fingerprints, scanning irises, and gathering information on each individual concerning their backgrounds and the communities that they're from, provinces they're, that they're from. Afghan National Army soldiers advised by Combined Security Transition Command Afghanistan service members are building Afghanistan's biometrics capability. And it boils down to this reason. This process for biometrics is very important. This helps us weed out the bad guys and those insurgents possibly from joining the Afghan National Army. And these potential Afghan recruits will be the ones weeding out the bad guys. But right now, they themselves are going through the screening process. What we do here is basically biometrically enroll all of the recruits on the front end. Of course, there are a lot of members out there that haven't been enrolled yet. So our battle space owners are going to be training those uh, Afghans that are already out in the field to biometrically enroll them uh, since this system came online in October 2009. Biometrics answers two main questions. Who are you and do you have a criminal record? Answering those two questions helps our Afghan partners and our coalition forces um, operate better and more securely in the field. Data is transferred to the Ministry of Interior Criminal Investigation Division Biometrics Department. It is then loaded onto the Afghan Automated Biometrics Identification System to match the records against its database. 
any match showing a previous criminal record is then investigated further. U.S. service members say biometrics is proving to be an effective method in reducing criminal activity throughout the country. Petty Officer Liz Murray, Kabul, Afghanistan.